Most plastic kits of trucks come with an open cargo bay. That's great if you want to show the back packed with gear, but what about if you want to show the cargo deck covered? Most soldiers will do anything to keep away from the elements. As a result, some kits come with a tarp moulded in plastic. That's OK, but it's not the best way to show a soft material like canvas. You could go out and buy an aftermarket tilt in resin, but here's a quick and easy way to make your own. Sculpting your own cargo cover is simpler than you might think. For this demonstration, we're going to be making a tarp using Milliput Black for our Tamiya GMC kit. We've built it pretty much out of the box, with just an aftermarket steerable axle for extras. The Tamiya kit builds up nicely and quickly. It's well moulded and a joy to build. But to make our tarp more easily, we're going to use another kit of the same vehicle, the Heller GMC in the same 135th scale. This kit comes with a moulded tarp. Having checked that this matched our Tamiya body, we cut out a piece of plastic card to create a tub. Make sure that the ends are thoroughly glued. This is because we're going to use this to make a pouring mould. Line it with some Vaseline to act as a mould release agent. Next, take some plaster, mix it up, then pour into the tub. Allow it to dry thoroughly. Then remove. Now you have a pattern for your tarp. It's strong and chunky, so you can work on it with ease. You can even scribe in any guidelines or marks to help you design your tarp. Just glue some plastic strips onto it to act as the canvas hoops. You can see how it will work with this foil. Any material formed over the pattern will take its shape. It can then be trimmed and mounted onto the model, fitting over the hoops. We're now going to be doing exactly this with Milliput Black. Mix it up in equal amounts. Then spread a bit of talcum powder or flour onto a flat surface. Use a rolling pin and roll it out flat. When it's thin enough, drape it over your pattern, which you've coated with mould release agent or Vaseline. Press it down to take the contours of the hood and patch up any missing areas or cracks. You can smooth out the putty with your finger. This will also create pleats and sags. Ignore any indentations in the milliput, as that can be remedied later. and now remove any excess. Keep smoothing out the milliput with a wet finger. You can also add further pleats, depressions and creases using sculptor's tools, or just shape and smooth out the sides. It's good to remember that once dry, this will be a base. There'll be a lot of sanding and sculpting processes to come but try and get it looking as natural as possible at this stage. We're trying to get a billowing look rather than lots of fine creases. Just loosen the edges to help the tarp release once set. Now allow it to dry for as long as possible and you'll have your first component of the tarp. If, like us, you're slightly unlucky, some bits of the tarp may fracture or break off when you release the mould. Because we had a pattern, we just grafted on some repairs and then sanded the hood down. Any blemishes were filled with more milliput and then sanded smooth. You could also drill the small holes for the rope tie-downs at this stage too. Now it's time to make the end pieces. Roll out more milliput and using the master from the Heller kit, cut out the end piece.
mount the canvas tilt on the cargo bay and attach the new front piece. Blend and sculpt it in until you're happy with the look. You can do the same for the rear end as well. Sand any further blemishes and leave to dry. Once dry, use a motor drill to smooth down the edges. We take the opportunity to thin all the other edges as well. And the canvas inside. Again, sand smooth by hand as well, as often as necessary. Also, if any parts crack, you can seal the joint with superglue. You're now ready for the final part. We repair any damage done by the motor tool and add the final detailed creases around the tarp ends. And any final filling and sanding smooth with modelling putty. The beauty of this method is you can use your plaster pattern to make more and more tarps. So you can do half open tarps, fully rolled tarps or whatever for other vehicles or the same one. By way of comparison, here is one we made using another putty, Magic Sculpt from Sealmaster. This one is half rolled back. We'll be using this on another GMC soon. When the time comes to paint your canvas tilt, you'll see it really come to life. So there you have it, one tarp almost complete and ready for painting. All you need to add are the rope fasteners and buckles. This is just one method of making a tarpaulin. We'll be looking at other methods in other Scale War Machines videos. But that's all for now. Keep watching Scale War Machines for more tips and techniques. Thanks for watching this how-to guide. Until the next time, goodbye. Subscribe for our latest videos.